Hello everybody, my name is APQ and welcome to Loop Hero, which I'm sure many of you have seen. Um, I was asking for new games in the comments and a few people actually, everyone that sort of I asked or said, hey, do you want to play new games? Recommended, hey, Loop Hero comes out on the 4th, you should jump on it and give it a try. So that's what we're going to do. I haven't watched any videos on it. I know the basic concept of the game. And that's about it. So we're just gonna go straight in and start. I've tried to mess with the music. That was a loud sound effect. Maybe the sound effects need to come down a little bit. <laughs> the stars in the sky are going out one by one. That's so loud. But no one notices it. No one can stop it. Ah! I'm racing to the last place where there is still hope. I need to make it before it is too late. Sounds of agony will quickly fade. The world will be destroyed, even the memory of it will be gone. Well, that guy's spooky as hell. That's a spooky man right there. Uh, and even if there is absolutely no chance of bringing it all back, there will always be someone who is willing to do the impossible. I'm guessing that's me. In a place without space, without time, without memories. Okay. It's Sound effects are really loud in my ears. Let me just turn my headphones down for now. And I'll turn the sound effects down when I get a chance. Where am I? I can't see anything except this path. My head is killing me. I remember only a skeleton with a staff in the sky. The darkness was coming from him. Did he destroy everything around here? Dude, this is insane. Just standing here won't do me any good, I guess. Right. Oh my god, this is already boggling. Can I just... Okay, I can. Sound effects are going to come down a little bit. Yeah, I can turn it up and edit in if we need to. Continue. Uh, to change between adventure, traveling through the map, and planning... Which... Oh, stop. Okay. Press the switch, right click, or space. Okay. Hope I'll be able to find some shelter before nightfall, if such thing as a nightfall still even exists without a sky, of course. Okay. Oh, so it was actually, I thought this was like a cave. Pay attention to the, d the day progress bar at the top of the screen. New enemies usually appear at the end of the day. Continue your journey by changing the game mode. Okay, so I can right click. Probably get used to right click, because slamming space bar might get a bit annoying on the mic. Um, a living ball of slime, quite a nuisance. They digest anything they can. Hey, I remember this creature. Maybe I just need to freshen up my memory and everything will go back to normal. Okay. A lot of text so far. Uh, I suppose it is the, the tutorial. Travelling, fighting, and most other actions are done automatically. It's an auto-battler! Let's go! It's nothing like TFT, but we stand auto-battlers. Uh, the player can't affect them directly. Press anywhere to continue. So this just... Okay. Okay. It's hard to fight with your bare hands. I think there's a weapon in the remains of this thing that's not fully digested. If you have an inventory and an item slot, you know what to do. Equip an item. Let's go. We got a sword. I think I remember that there was a grove nearby. Are these even my memories, or do they belong to that slime? You can use cards that are left after defeating enemies to add various new objects. Okay, I've seen this bit. Sorry, to add new objects to the map. That's what planning mode is for. Drag the card to a suitable space to remember the land. So this is, hang on, what is this? This is a grove. What does the grove do? It says on the right. Okay, I couldn't see that. My microphone was kind of in the way. A gentle rustle of leaves, a crack of a dry branch, and a feeling of being watched. Spawns a rat wolf every two days. The wolf can move to an adjacent tile. Okay. So we're kind of deciding what enemies we fight then, I guess. Right? And do we just, do we not sleep? Okay, here we go. There's a little rat wolf in here. Let's get in. Oh, dude, get wrecked. Okay, forest rat wolf. I was right. Some emotional stress, a few full, a few colourful images, and a bit of adrenaline, and everything will be forgotten like a bad dream, or remembered as a bad damn. Or damn. It's good that nobody is listening. I'm listening, dude. Right. You can get new items and cards during battle, as you probably already noticed. Some items have unique abilities, as do most of the cards. But hovering over an item or card, you can inspect its properties. Equip a new item, sorry, equip a new weapon and place a new card on the map to continue. So our sword currently does 3 to 5. This, the new scimitar or scimitar does 3 to 5, but also plus 4 attack speed. Okay, and that actually just yeets the sword off there. Okay. You can get new items. Yeah, we've read this, sorry. And then, so a forest, a thick forest. Nobody knows who or what could be lurking inside. It makes you a bit nervous. Plus 1 hero attack speed. So I'm guessing that might have a chance of spawning something. Rock. Its magnificent appearance gives you strength, plus 2 HP, P, plus 2 more HP for every adjacent rock or mountain. Right, so does this give us... 
Just two HP permanently. Where's my HP? Over there on the right. Okay, it does. It just gives us permanent HP. Okay. And then the weapon, it gives us attack speed. So I guess this doesn't spawn anything. So, okay, so this one doesn't go on the path. So we've got rocks over there. I'm going to put a forest over here. Great, so there's a mountain over there, and here is a forest. The world is just like new. The branches and stones in my backpack are a sure sign of that. So my thinking is if we separate these and we get a bunch, and obviously they're adjacent, they give us more health. My feeling is... Well, the reason I'm not putting it next to the path is because there might be things that give us adjacency bonuses when we walk past it. So, I'm not sure though. <laughs> Some of your actions will yield, yield resources that you will need later on, but not right now. But that shouldn't stop you from looking at them right now. Continue your journey by changing the game mode. Okay, I can see this getting very addictive when you're not stopping to read the tutorial every few seconds. I think it's time to get some rest, okay? The game itself is a journey on a looped path. Only you will decide when it's time for the hero to return to the camp. Either you or the fangs and claws of your enemies, of course. You can retreat almost any time, but a special animation will let you know when it's safer to do so. Retreat to the camp by pressing the button. Um, I want to stay. Can we not? They're not going to let me stay. I have to retreat. Okay, the thought of leaving the battlefield and going back to your cozy camp has passed through your mind. What a timely idea. The camp is just around the corner. So if we retreat, we keep all resources. And we've got one stable wood and one preserved rock. We will lose. Okay, I don't know. Let's, okay, let's retreat. Let's do as the tutorial says. It's cold and dark here. A small fire can solve both of these problems. Nice place to set up camp. Oh, music sounds lit. The music sounds super lit. Is this like another fights in tight places with a super lit music? And uh, look, the landlord's got insane music. It has no right to be that good. Uh, this is when all resources you've gathered will come in handy. Who would have thought? You have just enough wood and stones to make a campfire. What a nice coincidence. Build a campfire using the building function while in the camp. Press the build button to let the campfire and place it. Okay, so this is going to use our wood and stone. Okay. Looking good. Looking good. Congratulations, you've beaten this annoying tutorial. You can now start your first expedition. Or not. Do as you wish. Click anywhere to complete the tutorial. Okay. So now we just... We can't build anything, so I guess we go back on expedition. So the campfire's like the... Okay, the campfire's always here, I guess. Whoa, that's a bit... That's a spooky image. We've got a Steam achievement. Oh, you can't see it. But we've got a Steam achievement down here. New beginning. This path, everything is wrong, but I remember it looks like a completely different place. It's empty again. Do my actions have any meaning? Like, if I have a choice, if I need to give up and cry to save the world, I'm the worst savior of all. Savior of all. Let's do it. Okay, let's go kill some slimes, guys. Can we speed up combat anywhere? Ooh. Doesn't affect the speed of battles. Just affects the speed of, speed of running around. Okay. So I guess attack speed affects the speed of battles. <laughs> right. I was going to pause there, but... We'll pause after this slime. we got some gear. We're we still punching this dude with our shield. Right. We've got a sword. Definitely get that on. We've got armor this time. Gives us 88 extra max HP. That's huge. And a ring does two damage to all. Okay. Let's go. Oh, we got some... I'm already forgetting. Okay. Meadow. Earth covered with a thick carpet of grass. Nothing really interesting unless you're a cow, of course. Heals 2 HP at the start of each day. Right, let's put our meadows over here. We've then got another meadow. It doesn't give us adjacency, but we'll take that. Plus 5 HP for each adjacent rock or mountains. Okay, we're going to start with the rocks and the mountains over here. Giving us some max HP. Vampire mansion. Hungry eyes follow your every move through the holes in the roof. Adds vampires to battles on adjacent tiles. Okay. I guess we want to fight vampires early on. After... I don't know. I don't know what I've just done. That's a horrendous sound. Spooky as hell. Right. Slime time. What's this here? Map completion. When this bar is filled, the boss of this chapter will appear on the campfire tile. Oh, no. We've got another achievement there. First blood in the bottom right. Yo, did we just one hit that fool? Okay. Oh, two slimes. Ah! Can I pause? I can't pause in a fight. All right, let's pause now. Okay, we've got a new ring which does counter 10%. So what does counter actually do? Can I... Let's add it on. Armor. 
is actually worse. How do we bin it? Do we just... How do we bin items? Axe does 46 damage, the same as a sword. A shield? Oh wait, what's our... Wait, we already have a current shield. 86, 98 armor, nice. So how do I remove this from my inventory? Oh, just, my bad. I just paused, I need to put some of this stuff down. Okay, maybe I'm on too fast speed here, let's slow it down a sec. Okay, axe, we don't want the axe, right? But we can put it on instead of the sword because it doesn't have any difference. This arm is actually worse, so we're just gonna, I don't know how to, how do I remove this? Who knows? Honestly, I don't have a clue. I didn't place any tiles down again. We'll do it now. Okay, here we go. New ring. Regen per sec. Sure. Shield does four. Our old one does three. Nice. Uh, okay, let's get some more meadows down. Meadows are getting full up there. Mountain. Rock. Battlefield. It smells of blood and steel. Spawns a chest at the start of each loop. Enemies on adjacent tiles can become ghosts. Enemies on adjacent tile can become ghosts. Are ghosts good? We don't know if ghosts are good, so we're going to put it here for now. Road Lantern. A small spot of light in this grim world. It decreases the maximum number of monsters on adjacent tiles. The effect of lanterns can stack. It decreases the maximum number of monsters on adjacent tiles. The effect of lanterns can stack. What spawns a lot? I'm going to go there. It's like a good coverage. and I don't know if you want it. Surely we want monsters to... Increase our stuff. Let's speed up a little bit, get to this slime. Okay. We got some more meadows. Cemetery. A place for the dead and for some of the living occasionally. Spawns a skeleton every three days. Okay. We're going to put him over here then. I have no idea about placement yet, and I'm sure I'm going to get a bunch of comments giving me nice tips. So I appreciate it in advance, everyone. Also, just thought it would be a good time to point out that we have a Discord now, if you want to come and chat to me. Okay, how do I remove this stuff? No. Axe is four to six. We can do that and get rid of that one. I don't know how we get rid of this stuff. Maybe we just put it on. Just, I, just, I just want it out of my inventory. I'm quite of a clean freak like that. Another meadow. Heals 2 HP this stuff every day. Oblivion. A bit of the Lich's magic causes anything to be totally forgotten. Erases any established tiles. Erases monsters from the road. Okay, so I guess you hold on to this in case you want to remove something later on. Okay, more meadows. More rocks. We're getting lots of HP here and healing. The music is so good. The music is actually so, so good. Let's go. We're still we're still sliming. We're still climbing. We're still grinding. We got another lamppost here. So they actually stack. I'm gonna put it. Sorry, I'm gonna put the road down over here. Grove. Let's pause real quick. A gentle rust of leaves. Oh, this spawns a rat wolf every two days. The rat wolf can move to an adjacent tile. Yeah, let's put the let's put the grove down then. Oh, what does that give us? What was that? Preserved pebbles. Oh, this is what we take back to the campsite with us. Dude, the, mus the music feels like I'm fighting a really insanely fast-paced fast boss, like, all the time. Oh, we got a chest. Yeah, dude, hit the chest. What's in the, what's, what's in the chest? Yo. Spear. Six to ten damage. Does two damage to all and counter plus nine. Yes. Okay. How do we... Remove items? All this armor is worse, but I just want it gone. Ring, wait, right, plus ten percent counter. I think I actually want the regen. There'll be a really easy way to get rid of items, I'm sure. Somebody will tell me in the comments. Mountain, mountain, spider cocoon. A silky bastion of eight-legged hunters spawns a spider on the adjacent tile once per day. Sure, we'll go there. Another meadow. 
We've still got Oblivion if we want to remove anything. So maybe the spider's too tough for us. Okay, Rat Wolf is up next. Yeah, nice. Not taking too much damage. Okay, we got more rocks and meadows. Dude, the slime's just forever spawn then. I hope you get like rapid attack speed later on. Okay, whoa. Gladius does 8 to 12 damage. Yes. Sword, no. Gladius, no. Ring, no. Right, if I click on it, can I... How does one... Or do you just not get rid of it? Is that like part of the game? It's like a, you know? You can't fill your inventory up and you can't remove things. We've got a new rock. We've got another grove. I'm actually going to put right next to that grove. Gladius does less damage. A shield that does more defense. Sword. Gladius. Yeah, all awful. Nice. A battlefield. Have we already got a battlefield? we got one. Spawns a chest at the start of each loop. Enemies on adjacent tiles can become ghosts. Okay. We'll, we'll take another chest, I guess. Rest in peace, slime. I feel like I'm just I'm playing really bad. Um, I mean, it's my first day. It's come out today. I know there's been demos and some streamers and YouTubers have had early access and all that. So everyone's going to know a lot more than me. But it's part of the fun, to be honest, is learning. And you guys in the comments have been really helpful with learning the other games at the minute. So uh, let's throw an attack speed ring on. I think I know what I need to do here. I think I need to put the bad armor on. Like, so when I get good armor, or good, and a good item, if I've got any bad ones that, you know, need to go, I put those on first. We're going to go for that strat anyway, because I don't know any other way right now. Oh, well, I've got to put the beacon in. What does the beacon do? I'll have a look after this fight. Nice. Let's pause real quick. We've got a rock. Right. Right, what did that do? Did a goblin camp just... I didn't add that, right? Spawns a goblin on adjacent tiles once per day. It appears for every 10 rock mountain tiles. Every uh, mountain... Mountain ock tiles? I don't say mountain or rock tiles. It's okay. You know, we're going to have the grove in a row. Big grovey boy. Beacon. A worthless landmark in a world of no direction. Plus 40% movement speed of its range. Plus 20% attack speed for all units. We're going to go with it. I want it near the grove, to be fair. So I'm going to go there. This helps us out. I know it's probably way better over here. But I want it to help us out in the grove. Okay, we're fighting skeletons. I'm going to guess skeletons are way stronger then. Yep. Yeah, oh, no. Okay, we got level 4 armor though. That's, that's pretty pog. <laughs> I can't remember if I just said pog. That's pretty good. Okay, let's pause after this straight away. So we just got two new armors. One gives us attack speed. One gives us attack speed counter. Okay, so if we put this on first, because this is the one we don't want, and then we put this one on. We've got three weapons here that we don't want, and a ring that we don't want. Okay. We've got better armor now, though. We've got a treasure chest inbound. Nice. Okay. we got two new shields. One gives us attack speed and ten defense. One gives us counter and eight defense. So I want this, this one, so we put the bad one on first. I need a better weapon to remove these three weapons. I think that's the strat. I think that's the mechanic here. Unless it's a really simple way to remove items and I'm just being daft. What do we get then? We got a new ring. Okay, we got a new ring that's 12% counter. 10% counter. Okay, I like the attack speed at the minute though. We've got another spider cocoon that I kind of want to put over here. Might be a bit dangerous. We can always remove one of Oblivion if it gets too tough, remember. Okay, that healed us a little bit. Back off human, pardon? A vampire? Oh, it's a vampire house. Where are your lands? If your farmers need help, I'd be glad to offer it. No more lands, no more flock, only hundreds of years of emptiness and hundreds of years of hunger. That was a bit spooky face then. Did you see that? Save yourself while you still while you still can. I don't know how long I'll be able to keep my head straight. What hundreds of years are you talking about? Your mind is easy to trick, but you can't trick my hunger. It demands its share. Every sip, every drop of blood will go to... Satiate it? Satiate it? Satiate? Uh-oh. I'm too weak. You can help me and I will set set this crumbled world right. Right, I'm doing this not just for myself, but for everyone. In the name of good, so be grateful for my hard work and just let me bleed you dry. Oh no, is this guy going to slap us up? 
Okay, at least we're attacking the vampire first. Dude, vamp vampire's just been wrecked. Why is he giving it stacks? Why is he why is he got beef with us, dude? We just sliced him up. Level 3 armor. Okay, that was good. Vampires often owned our lands. They kept the peace and helped our settlements to prosper. But this won't do it all. Now they're just pale shadows at the former sh sh shelves. Someone said shelves. Both physically and mentally. Apparently the blood of other creatures can't sustain them. He wasn't joking about the hunger. Even the creatures that stand near him are imbued with the power to devour someone else's life. Right, let's pause. Do we want to add two vampire mansions right next to each other? Can I go ahead and say no? We got another meadow. What did that just do? That just spawned something. I don't know. Another beacon. Let's put the beacon there. That's big. Okay, into the grove we go. These guys are quite bad, so. We just need some items. Okay, we got new armor. So let's put bad armor on. Then the good armor on. We've still got these two rings and these three awful swords. Do we get a better weapon soon from one of these guys? Okay, we got a rock. Okay, another rat wolf. Come on, give us a sword. Give us a weapon, homie. What is that? Better armor again? No. Okay. We got a chest here, though, and a chest over there. Come on. Give us some good stuff. Please. What is that? Better shield? It is. Let's go. Okay, is this four sp Okay, no, I thought it was four spiders. Okay, spiders not as strong as I thought it was going to be. We've got another meadow. Okay, this is... Oh, no. Okay, I think we'll survive, but... We have just been uh, ambushed here. <laughs> There's a lot of people. Yeah, we took quite a lot of damage, but I'm, I I'm happy we made it through that little four-man fight. I'm sure it's going to get a lot harder than that. I should be putting the rocks around these to make it better adjacent bonus, shouldn't I? I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Okay, we've got we've got weapons. So, sword, 7-Eleven, get rid of you. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Let's put the rapier on. Is that how you say that? That's a bit of a dodgy way to... Mm. Let's put this shiny sword on. <laughs> Attack speed plus 4%. 11% vampirism. Is vampirism, vampirism, lifesteal? The only reason I ask that is because of League of Legends' Vampiric Scepter. Let's hope so. Okay, we're playing. Come on. Nice. Meadow. Road Lantern. Why not? Put another one down. So we're surviving right now. We're getting some better stuff. Slowly. Wait, is this skeleton cracked? What's he hitting me? He's hitting me for 29. I'm hitting him for like 8. Oof. What is this? A ring. Damage to all. 7% counter and 8% vampirism. Yes, please. We should have got rid of the old rings. What am I doing? Misplay right there. There's going to be so many misplays in this game. This is this game is a lot to keep track of. Okay, I don't think I want any of these in my inventory right now. Chest, yeah, go on. Let's open it. Give us something good, please. What is that? A shield. Give us this vampirism, though. I'm gonna put it on just because it's it's orange. You know, it's kind of it's kind of vibey, and it gives us more vampirism, which does look like it heals. Just have to. Okay, nice. We are healing slowly. Uh, level two ring. Eh, I don't want that. A new spear. Oh, I don't want that. I don't want any of this stuff. Stop. What is this, freaky man? Oh, goblins. That is a really... I love the art of this goblin. This is incredible. Uh, where did these goblins come from? Oh, I just clicked too early. My bad. We remembered ourselves. Now give us all you've got. Sigh. You have no idea what's going on, right? Why don't you help me restore order in this world first? And then you can do anything you want. Goblin must rob. No other order in the world. <laughs> goblin do be robbing, though. Fair enough. Guess I don't have any valid objection here. Oh, wait, I do have one. How about... Get a sword to the face. Alright, there's one dead. Let's get it. Let's get it. We've got a new spear. 
Oh, I paused. Oh, you pause as soon as you have over the items. Okay, that's pretty good. We're taking a lot of damage. New ring, Pog. I'll stop saying Pog. <laughs> it's strange how these creatures appeared here on their own. Maybe it means everything is actually not so bad and the world is trying to restore itself. Or that even the apocalypse isn't enough to get rid of some pests. Okay, let's pause. We've got a cemetery which spawns a skeleton. So we're going to go there. A treasury. The thick walls guard all kinds of riches from thieves and precious owners. Sorry, previous owners. Gives a random resource after placing anything on an adjacent tile. Can't be built adjacent to anything. So I have to build around it, I guess. Let's try. Right, what have we got here? I want the vampirism ring still. I don't know how we remove stuff. We got a vampire again. Okay, this guy's pretty easy to kill last time. Though we do need to heal for more than we're taking. Which isn't good against a vampire. Oh, he's stronger this time, for sure. For sure he's stronger. For sure, dude. Okay, what do we just get? Another awful ring. 16% counter. Let's get another mountain, though. Another treasury. I don't know what I meant to... Let's put it there. I don't know what I'm meant to do, honestly. This is insane. Okay, we can kill these guys. We definitely need more damage, though, and more vampirism. I think that's the way to go. Another meadow. I can't be doing a fight. Okay, my bad. Meadow. We've got another vampire mansion. I kind of want to do this and be toxic. And then let's do three skeletons in a row. I'm literally asking to be killed, but... I need to understand. By make I need to learn by making mistakes, right? This game's all about looping and doing it over and over and over again. So that's what we're going to do. Hopefully. I'm enjoying it so far, so there probably will be a lot more than one video on this game. But obviously. Ooh, ooh. Wait. Okay, so it looks like it just rotates the items out that we don't want. Four, eight, nine. Okay, this is less armor, but more attack speed. This sword is 19 to 29. So I'm just going to put these on here. To get rid of them. 1929 damage, that's huge. Okay. We've got a bunch of rings. Shield that's not really any better than what we got. Oh, another awful ring. Yeah, yeah, okay. Meadow. Okay, I don't want to use oblivion yet. Okay, we got a chest. Man, we need to heal desperately. At least we get some vampirism off the chest. That's a pretty big shield. Let's get these shields on to remove them from our little area. Nice. Yeah, we're not doing well for health at all. Rock. What? Okay. That was insane. So added a bunch of stone though to our thing, I think. Oh, there's a vampire. Oh no. Okay, that's a bad shield, but it is orange, dude. What is this? A ring. Regen per sec. Let's actually go for this. Let's get rid of some old rings, dude. Which one is it? That one. Let's try it. Yeah, let's try it. Let's try it. Another treasury. We'll go there. We need to start building things around these treasuries, I think. For oh, no. Oh, we're dead. Yeah. No, we're not. We're one-hitting spiders. Okay, we're almost one-hitting spiders. Dude, we're not going to make it through the skeletons here. Fifteen to twenty-three damage. That was good. That was good. Yeah, that was good. Oh no! Another four spiders. No. So do we lose everything if we die? Okay, we need to kill these and just chill out for a second. Okay. I'm gonna put another grove down anyway. <laughs> I could get rid of some skeletons here. Which might help us. But. Return to camp. Okay. I'm confused here. The thought of leaving the battlefield and going back to your cosy camp has passed. Free your mind. You'll have to leave some of the findings behind so the monsters won't catch you. You'll retreat 60% of all the resources found. Okay. If we stay. I think I can use Oblivion on two of these. And make it. Oh, there's goblins. I was going to say, make it to the campfire so it's safe. Let's give it a go. 
We've got 63 health. No, we're going to die to this skeleton. We should have left. Oh my god, we live. Right. Now we're obviously going to lose all of this. But is this the time to return to the camp? I mean, it's more progress than what we've already earned. Okay, so we will lose two stable branches, one stable wood, one preserved rock, one ration, four noticeable changes. I think we retreat. Or do we just find out what happens when we die? Like, I think we find out what happens when we die. Honestly, first video. Let's find out what happens when we die. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's get some health back from this chest. Tiny bit of health. What is this? A ring, regen per sec, and vampirism. Okay. Goblins. We're in trouble now. Yeah. I die to these. Oh, I don't know. They do. They don't deal a lot of damage. They attack faster. Yeah, we're dead. Okay, so if we die, we keep 30%. So we keep a significant amount less. But we know that now. You've died in battle. Death does not favour the fallen, but it made a little, ex a little exception for you. You keep 30% of all resources found. I can't believe it. Hey, everybody. The boy has managed to return. Survivors, does this mean I'm not alone anymore? Where did you come from? Is there still a place without darkness? We don't know where we came from. Or we can't remember. These people you see are only a small part of what's left of the group, I think. You're not sure? We're not sure. We reached that conclusion because of the abandoned luggage and leftover daily rations. With each day, new signs of presence of people that, as far as everyone here knows, have never been with us. It's like we forgot them. You forgot? Exactly. It's like people disappear every day and we instantly forget that they even existed. Almost as if we forgot the place we came from, and our families, and maybe even ourselves. My name is Yota. That's the part I still remember. Nobody else's memory is in much better shape. That's why I remember so little about myself. Everything is forgotten. But wait, you said that I'd managed to return? That means you remembered I was here? Yes, that's why it's so important to us. We saw you leave, but you were gone before we could approach you. Listen, we can't wander around in this empty emptiness anymore. There's a campfire and a few sleeping bags here. A real luxury in these dark times. What do you say? Oh, of course. I'd be grateful if we could team up. I want to restore everything. I've begun to remember the world as it was before. But there's no point to it without other people. It's too lonely without them. Remembering the world? I don't understand what you're talking about. I'm too exhausted. But we'd be glad if you could help us. And we'd be glad to help you. Just don't ask us to go with you. I don't know how you managed to return. But for us, leaving the group is too dangerous. I will ask no such thing of you. For now, I just want to have a place to return to. A place where I can hear other people's voices. Okay. Still going. I was about to say goodbye. We weren't joking about helping you. Here are... Here are the few things that survive the cataclysm and don't vanish away. Can't be forgotten. Take them, you might need them. Your materials, your pog. Let's take these. Okay. Statistics. Oh, okay, that's really good. This game's going to get addicted by the end if you've got stats like this. How many loops, how many kills, how many minutes played in Expedition, how many in game. I like this. Right, we're going to leave the builds for the next video though, because there is going to be a second one. However, this video is 33 minutes long. I think that's a good a good run. Wow, it's probably an awful run. I'm sure there's people who have done way better in their first runs, but... I did spam three skeletons in a row. So, yeah. Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching. We've now got a Discord. Uh, a few of us and the commenters and the community and subscribers made it last night. If you want to join, the link's in the description and probably in the comments too. Please let me know what you think about the game and if you want to see me play it more. I realise I'm not the best at the game and I'm not the best commentator. However, you guys help me out a lot, so I'm sure I'll get better and we can work on the commentary. Just let me know what you don't like. Thank you all for watching and uh, we'll see you again next time. Goodbye!